Let us chant the first verse. Vedo nityam adhiyatam taduditam karma svanushtiyatam tenesha sevidhiyatam apachite kamye matisthyachyatam apau gaspari bhuyatam bhavasukhe doshon sat कर्मस विच हैव बीन सैंक्शन बाय द स्क्रिप्चर्स The categories are nitya karmas, naimitya karmas, kamya karmas, and prayaschitta karma. These are the four which have been sanctioned. In fact, first two are prescribed. Let us understand a little difference over here. That though all of them are are given by the Veda. but a little difference can be understood in english words the two nitya karmas and naimittika karmas are prescribed which means they are obligated they should be done and the reason for doing it is that in the whole process these karmas will give antakarana shuddhi Though we now the person finds himself laden with innumerable desires, and when we have desires, then naturally those desires need to be fulfilled. Is what our demand is, and when those desires have to be fulfilled, we have to take a little precaution, and that precaution is that. Desire fulfilment should follow the righteous path. Okay, just because one has a desire does not mean that it should be fulfilled any which way. Now, otherwise there will be a chaos in the person's life as well as he will create a greater chaos in the world outside. And in that process, the person. who simply follows desire fulfillment by hook or crook he creates a a what do they call that sinking sand for himself then he is caught in the vortex in in the whirlpool wherein the person will be dragged deeper down into ignorance more and more and it is ignorance means it is the very mother of all misery for dukham arises from avidya alone now <coughs> so when the person follows is higher fulfillment now in what way the desire should be fulfilled are shown by the ved and therefore even kamya karma also becomes ha huh, something that is given by the veda but is it prescribed or is it sanctioned so we understand this is the method in which a desire should be perfect and by desires what do we understand putreshana vitteshana and lokeshana all our desires can categorically be made to sit under these three classes putreshana vitteshana putreshana means desire for progeny vitteshana means desire for wealth and lokeshana is desire for the world in the sense this world as well as the other world swargadi lok okay so now the person in this world also he strives that people should appreciate me people should uh, uh, praise me 
Uh, they should consider me to be good and, you know, approval, etc., appreciation, all this is uh, the part of that location. Uh, even, so people generally even be fine that there are some great people, spiritual leaders, etc., they may not have putreshana, vitteshana, but there will be that locationa will be there. And nobody needs to prove themselves as to be very, very clean as if he has arrived right from the lap of Bhagwan. So clean. Hey, don't tell us because we have seen in Jivan Mukti Viveka where her Vidyaranya Swami says, Brahma, the Shiromani of the Brahma, Brahmajanis, uh, he is the crown jewel of the uh, Brahmajanis. Who is that? Yashnavalika, says Yashnavalika. Then Yashnavalika comes into that uh, Janaka, King Janaka's court, where the debate has been arranged in order to identify the best teacher, this, the, 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 the supreme uh, uh, knower of the Veda. And so this Yashnavalika also participates in the debate. And why has he gone over there? Why has he gone? So, and Yajnavalkya has no qualms about saying this. He says, I have come to establish that I am the best in all these people who have gathered from all over the country. Look at that, even Yajnavalkya, and not only that, he displays that, then he comes into the debate and with authority, he says that I know I, I will be able to give the gist of the Vedas properly. And then there are other people who are contenders, Kahola, etc. He debates with them. You over there, we come across Gargi, this Brahmavadini Gargi, in the same debate. She questions uh, Yashnivalka. And there's a beautiful, the whole thing is a nice thing. And then Yashyavalkya, at the very beginning of that debate, he says that even before the debate begins, he tells his disciples and Janaka, the king, all these cows and the gold that you have kept all there, send it to my home first. Why? We have not yet declared who has won the debate. He says, send it. That's it. So this, look at that. We find everything. So he has that jiva, what was that, uh, 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 that desire, vijigisha, to win, to be victorious, to, to be declared supreme, the best. Now, if Yajnavalki can have, and then people like us right here in the Kali Yuga have the audacity to say that, no, 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 we are free from all that, that is pure nonsense. So just... Just follow this, and that is the reason why even for Jivan Mukti, one has to strive with Vasana Tyaga, Avasana Kshaya, and Manonash, along with Tatvajanam, is there. We, we, we cannot ignore that fact. So let us be very, very clear and clean about this. And so those who are, uh, have arrived over here, the most pure soul and all those things, uh, now whenever there is any such personal claim, immediately I, have, I, can, I can very well tell you is, is just move away from there because there is a danger. Well there. Now, so we have this Kamya Karma. And then that Kamya Karma, therefore, is sanctioned to do it in this way. Kamya Karma is sanctioned, whereas Nitya Nirma, Nitya Karma, Naimitya Karma, and Prayaschitta Karma, Prayaschitta means the actions of atonement. Huh? Because some, the Purva Janma, as well as in this Janma, some wrong we may have done through the body, through the speech, or through the mind, correct? And therefore, now when something is wrongly done, even what we do here in the Laukika, 
is is that we try to fix it up ha uh, rectify it ha uh, don't we do to rectify it so th this is rectification so that what if now if it, the action has been done it will bring damage but now let us control it to the maximum extent by by doing the prayashchitta karma so there is prayashchitta karma but nitya naimitti karmas are obligated whereas the kamya karmas do prescribe we will say are sanctioned okay because one has putreshana vidheshana lokeshana it is sanction so you have vidheshana that how how do i how do i fulfill my desire for wealth this then the way they say should i do some chori mari ha huh? so chori mari means looting and plundering and killing and all that no 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 please don't do that <laughs> it is a proper way uh, proper way in the sense to even when you want to earn wealth etc there is a there is a right way of of making creating wealth Ah, bringing in the the following that that's fun. Then we have another thing, and that is that he said, "Te na ishasya vidhi atam apachiti." Through all these karmas, now now all the karmas, okay? Which all karmas? Papa karmas. We are not saying through Papa karmas you worship Ishvara is not the whole thing. through nitya karma naimitika karma kamya karma and prayashchitta karma let that be understood as every action to be understood as appreciated as your worship of ishvara okay because through every action we get related to the world and the world is nothing but the visible body of god god body of god and so This is the Virata group of Ishvara. This is the Virata Purusha. So therefore, when we are interacting with the world, though we feel that we are interacting with our with our neighbor and our husband and wife and children and whatever in laws, really speaking, we are interacting only with Parmeshwara. And therefore, now if it is Bhagwan. then the only relationship which is possible is that of bhakta of bhakti and therefore now it becomes an act of worship then the author, the, the student has raised a doubt he says sir then even the kamya karmas will also become ishvara apachiti ishvara arsana it will become puja of ishvara then we should even follow that so over there we what did the teacher he gives you one nyaya and he said ha uh, prakshalana dupankasya duradas sparshanam varam now instead of getting into the mud and then cleaning yourself of course ah uh, why did you clean yourself because i got into the mud and therefore will you ever say because i want to be be clean i should get into the mud every time first so in order to be clean all that you require is not to get into the mud prakshalanadhi prakshalanam means washing prakshalanadhi pankasya washing that uh, the, the dirt that is sitting now washing that away prakshalanadhi pankasya durat asparshanam varam not touching it at all is better and if you have at all touched it then wash yourself <laughs> if there is ka if there is kamana then turn it into ishvara arpana bhavana and if it is not there very good in fact try to give that up and therefore kamye matis yajyatam matihi over here mati means mati actually means understanding or buddhi buddhi is mati Then matis tetchatam kamya means 
in in that from the karma karmas give up the buddhi what give up the buddhi in karma karmas means now presently the buddhi is engaged is engaged only in what thinking how will i fulfill this desire how will i fulfill this desire and so all the time planning scheming huh? <laughs> not in a bad way but properly in a over there matihi tyachatam kar now the teacher says matihi tyachatam means kartavyata buddhi what is the meaning of word mati we understood over here in this context is kartavyata buddhi that idam maya kartavyam this is what i should do this is what i should do that should go away that is giving up the mati over here okay now further more sir now there is one one objection and that objection is that we were told that this is the kamya karmas are the ways in which we can fulfill our desires kamya the, the prescribed uh, method sanction method of doing it and that also now we have given up now we do not have. so now there is one nyaya which he brings and he says siddham annam parityajya bhiksham atati durmati now there was some nicely well cooked food giving that up now what this fellow does he goes about begging in the village siddham annam parityajya bhiksham atati durmati atati he wanders around for what for bhiksha bhiksha atati such a person is durmati now we had a method of doing and fulfilling the desire that we have given up so no, you know not even we will not even get that and doing what begging is that so which means that whatever we had is given up and now there is nothing left to you it in nyayena apannaitya it in nyaya apannaitya now this nyaya this logic will come and you know we will be there applicable to us this kind of a thing so now the next instruction is papau has paribhuyatam tenaiti anuvartaniyam so over here what is to be understood tena just put the word tena tena means by that by what by what by the earlier four instructions वेदा निमीयतादुदिथम कर्म स्वनुष्ठीयतामचिमतिमेटर But uh, add a word over there, which is actually intended by the author. It is not interpolation. So this is not. <coughs> this is reading in between the lines. Okay. So what? Tena paapaudha paridhuyata. Paap means sins, and oga means the stream. So so. Parinuyata, there is a stream of pap, which we have already done, right? In innumerable lives, the, all these papas are sitting, and these papas will keep coming in form of dukkha. Now, whatever dukkha that we are facing over here in this life, the the immediate um, nimittas. Excuses can be my wife, my husband, my in-laws, my neighbor, my health, so on and so forth. But what is making those people, those things, those situations as excuses for misery to come? It is actually this. Okay. 
So these papas, these things which were done, now are arriving over here in, in form of these miseries. Then what happens is, is that the end, how much, how much is there? Oh Baba, don't ask. It is Oga. It is a stream. Baba Oga. Generally, we wash our clothes, etc., in the stream. In the olden days, when the water did not come into your taps, people would take their buckets and to the nearby stream to wash or even to take bath, etc. They would go to those streams to take bath, not stand under the shower in the bathroom because bathrooms were not there. People could so we had this stream but over here you go to the stream and what do you find that the stream itself is all polluted are you going to step into it in that contaminated polluted huh, thing no. so what we need to do so that is what they said you know now that these rivers even the holy rivers of India, Ganga, Yamuna, etc., they are polluted. What do you do for this pollution over there? Clean the river, clean the river, clean the river. Hey, clean the river means just stop the pollution. The rivers are clean. Papa Ugaha Paridhu Yata. Over here, so what should be done is Tena. Now these papas are, come, are there already flowing into the life. The only way to overcome it is that whatever karma that one is doing, two, two important things. Whatever karma that one is doing, turn it into Ishwararpana. Hmm? Turn it into Ishwararpana. Ishwararpana means Offer it as your worship to Ishwara. A. So it is an attitude. And B. Kamye Matis Yakshata. Add one more thing to it, and that is that even this um, uh, doing the Nitya Naimitika and Rayash Chitta Karmas, thus by doing this, Tena. Huh? Tena. For our convenience, that singular tena, let us convert it into plural and let us say tebhya. So what all factors are there through which the papa, the stream of these papas which are coming into our life will be will be passed through what? Huh? Through what? So by these four factors. That whatever karma that one is doing, let it be turned into Ishwara Arpana. Then the second one is Kamye Matis Yachata. The third one is doing the Nityanaya Mittika Karma. And the fourth one is even doing the Prayashchitta Karmas. Because there are these four, now we are saying Tena, which is singular. We, we will turn it into Tebhyaha, which is plural. So Tebhyaha, what? Papaugaha, Paridhu, Yatam, clean that thing. Okay. Tena Ishwara Buddhisha Paritya Paritya Kalena Karmana Papanam Papakalanam Antakarana Doshanam Raga Dinam Ogaha Oga means Oga means stream. We have seen that meaning. Now he says actually that Oga means sunshine collection over here. Huh? Because from that, like you know. If you have ever experienced a boil on your leg or a hand somewhere, you know, generally, yeah, nowadays we don't see this so much. In my childhood, I don't know how we used to have boils and all. Because I think we used to eat proper good mangoes in the summer season. Uh -huh. 
Here heat boils has to come, you remember? Yeah, and then those boils will be there and they will become nice the red and then, then slowly it will it will, it will be ripen and then there will be pus and then will little by little it will start uh, you know oozing out coming out so you put some bandage something like that on it so that you know uh, whatever the pus comes keeps coming and then by evening you find the same day that it has all drained out, it's gone. So there is a sunshine of that pus, but it keeps coming. The stream keeps coming. Like that, there is this palm which is sunshine and it will keep trickling into our life as various events, occasions, situations, people, in form of dukkham then then you have some neighbor dukkham how you don't require this neighbor to, to trouble you how our own children can be good enough in-laws can be good enough you know <laughs> and if nothing else there will be at least constipation to to upset your day to make you unhappy something this is that papa which is not trickling in and so it is papo means sanchaya, a sanchaya of his papas. So the commentator here says, Tena Ishwara Muddishya. Now, uh, Ishwara Muddishya, uh, uh, keeping Ishwara as the object. Object means objective. Making Ishwara as the objective to, to whom the karmas will be offered. This is my offering to you. Now I will tell you what 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 is the meaning of offering over here because you know you can take flowers and keep it on the idol. Can you take karmas and keep it on Ishwara like that? Okay, I am taking this karma, keeping it on your head, something like that. Can you? No. So what does that mean? Is let us say that you are working in the office, you are running to catch the bus or the train or things like that and then uh, working hard and then also when you are in the office etc it's not very easy working even if you are the owner it is not very easy uh, you know you got to take certain insults and you have to take you know bear it tolerate it all these things are there for what so that you can keep your family happy uh, don't you do that so now Doing so much is an offering to whom? For whom? So now you understand that, that my going over there and, uh, you know, uh, uh, so much of this efforts, etc., is meant for my family. So it is an offering to, towards them. Like that, now understand that everything, if we can turn all our actions, as our offering to Ishwara. Now this will be offering because you cannot actually take a karma. Okay, this karma, I'm putting it on Ishwara. No, this is how you offer. So, tena, tena Ishwara Uddishya, Parityakta Phalena, Karmana, Papanam. Now, through this, both the things, Parityakta Phalena, Karmana, sir. Papanam, papakalana. Now these papas and the results of the papa, antakkara doshanam, they will, they will come as the very defects in the antakkarana. Now look at that. Antakkarana, you understand the word antakkarana. Antakkarana, the inner equipment, which means the mind, etc., with the four divisions. Mana buddhi, chitta, antakkara, this is the antakkarana. Bahikarana, the hands, legs, eyes, ears, etc. They are the external organs of um, uh, action, uh, uh, in the sense, organs. And the internal organ is the mind. So, Antakkarana. So, in this Antakkarana, which is the very equipment for knowledge to take place, there will be certain defects which will prevent the knowledge from taking place. This will prevent the knowledge and this knowledge that Atma is Brahman, 
is such knowledge that it will release you from from to come all together dukkhasyan atyantika nivritti it can bring about but these papas now will come in the form of defects and prevent the knowledge from taking place they will prevent the knowledge what is there all that one needs to understand simply is that this nature of the self is brahman i finished that this atma is brahman and what is brahman that in which the entire world of names and forms is an appearance that shuddha chaitanyam is brahma hmm. that what is ananta vastu is brahman and that is what this atma is but then the knowledge is will be there but now for this understanding even to come because these are words now so these words are going into the heart that you know you, you are able to hear and so, so there is some some cognition but that cognition is not clear a it is not clear b that even if it is that the knowledge somehow is pratibandhita is 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 as if arrested and what is the only thing knowledge can do knowledge can remove only ignorance no and the, the product of ignorance is dukkha if the very cause is not there if the nimitta is not there that what is naimittika also goes away if the cause is not there then naturally the effect that this cause can bring about will also not be there so ignorance avidya is the cause and this avidya is destroyed by the knowledge and in destruction of the avidya the cause for misery has gone now misery also has gone away so knowledge does not go and destroy the misery directly the only thing that the knowledge does is to destroy the ignorance avidya is the nimitta dukkha is naimittika means born out of that nimitta through through that cause is the effect na rahega baas na bajegi baasri ye avidya nahi rahegi to avidya ke ye bachche kacche dukha di kahan se rahenge nahi rahenge so so now knowledge destroys the but now these papas which have been done earlier they are going to prevent the knowledge from doing what it does what does the knowledge do destroy ignorance what will these papas do not allow it to move further now you yourselves will see uh, that you know sab ab Oh, oh, Swami, you got Vedanta, Vedanta. We are bored. Why is the, what is that? What are you interested in? Or oh, tell us some story, a uh, nice story. Uh, so why, if that tattva is so easy and clear and simple, any knowledge is simple. When there is clarity, the knowledge is knowledge means what? Wherever the equipment. through which the knowledge takes place is able to meet its object in optimum conditions that are required knowledge takes place knowledge is not even a willed by the person it is not purusha tantra it is vastu tantra <coughs> let us say in this very room when your eyes are open which means not you are not some not sleepy or not some you know problem now eyes are open and your vision is also or if the vision is at least you are wearing chashma chashma means uh, specs you are wearing and then there is adequate light there is some uh, flower kept over here and the eyes meet the object the knowledge it is a red flower takes place how long does it take what is something so difficult 
So if the equipment is there and that equipment is aligned with its object and if there is nothing to prevent the eyes from functioning in contacting the object, knowledge takes place. What did you do in this? You have no role to play. The will has no role. The individuality has no role. The ego has no role at all in knowledge to take, uh, to, 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 to take place. That is why karma, karma has ego as its base. Knowledge does not have ego as its base. For karma, I am doing, I want to do, I will do, such things are required. For knowledge, what? If the eyes are open and if there is adequate light, adequate light means, say suppose if there is little darkness or uh, the light is not adequate, then that will not, that will prevent the eyesight, the eyes from contacting the object. It will, so there is a factor which is preventing the eyes from functioning properly. <coughs> or if there is some mucus in the eyes, now you cannot see properly. Done. So if the equipment is there and the equipment is tuned and, and, and when there is no, no, no pratibandha, no obstruct, ob, 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 obstacle or obstruction in between, knowledge takes place. What is difficult about, why does it become difficult? Uh, first thing is that, oh, Swamiji, we are not interested. That means now, what if you are not interested in knowing Atma is Brahman? What are you interested in? Uh, we are interested in only Vishayas. You see? We are interested only in something that will appease the Indriyas and the appease, it is only that appease the ego. Be nice, you know. Hey, the spirituality and the whole Vedanta is what? For you to make you feel good? Huh? So, so that we feel good. This is some feel-good industry, then watch some film so that you feel better, not just good. Mm. That, that will even make you feel better. Oh, nice, nice film. Hey, watch how this fellow is hitting him, punching him in the face. Feel nice. Okay. Yeah, wow. So, pa uh, uh, pa This pa pa is sanchaya. And this sanchaya is the ragadvesha. Okay. Now these ragadveshas will become the preventing factors. And therefore, in order to resolve these ragatveshas, we require tena papa udhav With these four things, the papa the, the stream or the sanchaya of these papa should be washed away. Paridhuyata, parityachyata, yavat, ishwaram uddishya, halatyagena, Chittagata dosha rupa, rupa, anathani pratte, shreyo yogyataya ashtya sambhava, na tvayokta nyaya avatara kaitavaha. Sir, nice sir, you have explained so far very well. But you know, our objection was, what was the objection which he started? Ah. Yeah, it was Siddhamannam Parityacha Dikshan Atati Durmati. That was his objection. That whatever was well kept and cooked, he gives up that delicious food and goes about begging in the village. He gives that up and goes begging in the village. Siddhamannam Parityaj, that was the objection. Now, how is this objection answered over here through all this uh, long discussion that you had? How is that answered? You obviously have started talking so that you can answer my objection. You have spoken so much. Where is the answer to this objection, sir? Here it is. So now is the conclusion of this part. He says, 
ईश्वरम उद्दिश्य फल त्यागेन चित्त गत दोष अनर्थ निवृत्ते फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बाय डूइंग द ईश्वरार्पण ऑफ द कर्मस हां बाय डूइंग द बाय ऑफरिंग इट टू द ईश्वर परमेश्वर ए व्हाट हैज हैपेंड इज चित्त गत दोष निवृत्ति वन इज नाउ एबल टू overcome the doshas in which means these various defects which were acting as factors which will prevent the knowledge those factors those preventing factors now are resolved are removed so what what is there chitta gata dosha so there is first of all chitta and what are that they are anarth rupa they are what anarth anarth means ha no 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 i do anarth means over here the nature of some calamity ha some nature of some calamity nivritti now you know those which are like calamitous they are removed a okay they are removed and b what has happened shreyo yogyatayascha sambhava it has made one one self capable of uh, of knowledge which means it has it has made the person the right the recipient for knowledge yogyata it has brought about the yogyata by removing these doshas so do you think that this person finally is like that durmati like that uh, dalvited person who is going about begging in the village by giving up the delicious food piping hot delicious nice food he gives up and goes about begging uh, no in fact and that's why this is the this is the achievement this is what is the attainment and therefore you can say that that nyaya which nyaya siddha mannam parityajya viksham kati durmati there is no space for such objection to be raised in this case so because there is no space that objection itself is gone to the to it has been answered answering the objection means the objection is no longer there now that objection is gone no longer there and therefore this is the answer tena papo kas paribhuyata okay then nanu so now he again has raised the question because this is how our text will always progress traditional what is it nanu yajnadi karmanam swargarthatvat swargasya cha sukarupatvena purusharthatvat ha purusharthasya katham tyaga sambhavati iti iti ataha ah now sir you said tamye mati sketchata hmm what did you say tamye matis yachkam no that tamye karma let us understand let us let us let us take it this way that somebody is doing some jyotish shoma hoga so why because he is swarga kam he wants to go to the heaven he want because he wants to attain heaven that after i die from here at least i should not have problems i had enough problems so let me have some comfortable stay there in the heaven nice enjoyable pleasurable so i want to so he does that but jyotish to go nice so he can go do some amrit paan and all that huh? we are not saying that you know he will be served wine and all he will be given amrit over there this varga uh, the nectar of immortality 
then what happened is so he wants to go to swarga why because swarga means there is even if it is about whatever it means freedom from dukkha right freedom from the dukkhas of this mortal world so it is freedom from dukkha and it means some some sukham is also there so whatever object now promises dukkha nivritti and sukha prapti immediately becomes an object of your desire whatever you may see you are just walking by a cake shop and then you see a nice uh, cake uh, okay vegan cake on the market uh, <laughs> And then you want it. Hey, why? Hey, because I'm hungry, and you know you are feel like eating something. You know, nice, soft, and sweet, and oh, dukkha nivritti, saprapti is seen in that object. That object will be desired. So any object will become desirable with these two factors, or at least either of them has to be there. Some dukkha nivritti also has to be there. Why do you why do you take medicines even if it is bitter? Is it pleasurable? No, it is not pleasurable. You know, you know, gulping it down means that it will give dukkha nivritti. That's why you do it. So at least dukkha nivritti is there. So either of these two has to be there. You know, these people who are drug addicts and all, why do they go in for that? Because though they know that it is come. But at least there is sukha prapti in that for them. They imagine sukha in that. So, so either way, something of that has to be there. But you know, this this will not be called as purushartha because purushartha does not lead to dukkha. Over here, doing anything like this drug addiction and alcoholism is dukkha rupa. Na, it will take. That's why it is not purushat. It is anart. It is not purushat. It is anart. But because the person's mati is topsy-turvy, now he imagines sukham in that which is to come. He imagines sukham in that which is. Actually, to come, um, so he imagines pleasure in that which is a thought. Actually, misery, suffering. This is this is more to to see it. Otherwise, to see it. Otherwise, so now over here, he says that how will we give up? The desire for swarga, etc. Why? Because swarga means there is dukkha nivritti sukha prapti. Because it has got these qualities that naturally it will be desired. You don't have to teach anyone that because it has got these two qualities, go chase it. The moment a person if sees it that any object, anything has got these two two values. Dukkha nivritti, sukha prapt. The attainment of sukham is then that person will start. It will become your your you know object of your desire and actions. Go. Swarga etc. has this, and this swarga is therefore desired, and therefore there is going to be the actions. Which are desire oriented, and you are saying give up the karma. How can we keep that up when we are able to see that it is, it is having these two qualities? How can we give it up? This is the question. Huh? Look at that question again. <coughs> What are the yajna karmas, etc.? These fire rituals, Vedic fire rituals, meant for they are meant for attainment of swarga, swarga. Okay, meant for what? So that swarga. 
वी आर जस्ट टेकिंग वन एग्जांपल यशादि कर्मणाम स्वर्गाथत्वा देन व्हाट इज दिस स्वर्ग स्वर्गस्य सुखरूपत्वे दिस स्वर्ग इज सुखरूप एंड बिकॉज इट इज सुखरूप इट बिकम्स पुरुषा it becomes something that is desire okay katham tyagaha then how can we give up the karma karma the karma meant for swarga you please tell us how can we give that up katham tyagaha sambhavati ityah and therefore in order to answer yes the teacher says विधीयतापचि संसार bhavasagar ha ah, you ocean of samsara and that samsara means ha ah, means misery suffering so if you want to uh, just to understand uh, not a literal but implied meaning of the word samsara it means suffering and samsara means that which keeps on slipping not sleeping slipping samyak sarati sarati means escapes runs out slips just as if you are if you hold water in the cup of your palms the water will all slip out through the through the gaps between the fingers like that no matter you try to hold on to anything in this world it will still escape somebody says that i will keep my health all the time i will be fit hey the health will also deteriorate my abilities will will deplete it will have somebody says you know i will look beautiful all my life i will keep doing plastic surgery plastic surgery do as many plastic surgeries and stretch the skin on the face then below the neck there is a big muffler of all things you know huh so <laughs> as much it will keep on slipping then somebody says oh, oh i will keep i will so this fellow promises this girl i will love you till the end of time and i will very soon after they get married and now you know with other things now this girl said you don't love me so much as much as you love me before hey, before when we you have promised me end of time so he said where has the end of time yet come so <laughs> at the end of time i will love you again don't worry you know, gone everything keeps slipping from the hands because it keeps running away and we keep chasing it but it has the ability the world has the special ability of escaping the grip it will it will no matter how much you try to possess it no matter how much you try to possess it what will happen it will it will run away and that is because it slips away all the time it is called as samsara that's one thing but to understand is samsara means suffering okay
So I'm sorry, implied meaning is suffering. But in this very world, what do we see? In this, that's why it is transitory. It is transitory, temporary, conditioned by time. That's why temporary. So, so we try to make things permanent over here. You make things permanent. Try to make permanent that which is by very nature impermanent. So we are sitting on what? What? Ashakya Anushthanam, an impossible task. Like somebody goes to Ganga over here and he tries to draw a line across the stream of Ganga. He can sit over there for 500 years trying to draw a line. You can draw the line on the sand. Well, can you draw a line, clean line on that Ganga? Draw it. Impossible. Ashakyam Shanam. So over here, in this very bhava, in this very samsara, we are trying to make things permanent. Anyway, so this and this, this world is seen desirable because we have, there is a we are necessarily seeing some value of happiness over here. So now we need to rectify our vision about the world. What is that rectification? Let us see when we meet tomorrow in the morning. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shant Shant Shanti Shantaram Shantaracharyam Keshavam Padarayanam Sutra Vashakta Vande Vyavanta Upanaf Puna Ishvaro Purat Meti Mukti Veda Vipagine Vyoma Vadya Pradehaya Dakshina Mungutaye Namaha Thank you friends, thank you all. Thank you.